Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. There's some shenanigans going on in the Funko world. It's time to grab your calculators because things aren't adding up. Beep, boop, 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 boop. All right, so there's been some news in the Funko world lately, and it's actually pissing me off. Mm. A couple days ago, they announced somebody on the Funko News channels and stuff that Amazon was starting to blow out some of the Civil War Build-A-Scene figures. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't remember, about a millennia ago, they decided that they were going to do 12-piece Build-A-Scene set from Civil War, which in concept sounds cool. Sure. But the problem with these things is that they release them so periodically Mm -hmm. and sporadically that, you know, it's going to take two years before we actually get all 12 pieces. Pretty much. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So what we've been doing, and and in the past with these Build-A-Scene sets and and deluxe sets, we will buy them and then we'll release them as a set. Right. We couldn't do it. There's too many. Mm -hmm. So there's also so many that, and they've been, been, releasing them for so long right. amazon's blowing them out and the for set's che- not done for cheap for cheap yeah. five to seven dollars usd mm-hmm. for some of the previous build a scene figures right and they're not done building the scene yeah. yeah so it is maddening that you're already starting to blow those out and it's because you have too much inventory because this is a stupid idea to mm-hmm. release them all this far apart for so long until you get the full set of 12. Have you noticed that Amazon exclusives never sell out? Yeah, okay. They used to. Yeah. Back in the day, All right. it used to be hard. Back in the day. Back in the day. It used to be hard to get Amazon exclusives. Okay. Not anymore. Yeah, now, I'd just, say you're right. Amazon exclusives never sell out. All right. Ever. They're always available. Even cons. When, yeah, the, 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 the Amazon con conventions. Yeah. The shares are yeah. always, we have no problem ever getting them. You're right. Yeah. And mul- like as many quantities as, many as you want. want. Yeah, there you go. Go to town. It just bothers me that the set isn't even done yet. So they, one, shouldn't have done a 12-figure set. And two, they should have just dropped them all at the same time. Yeah. Selling them individually or doing a bulk deal on the set. Yeah. Don't take two years to release all these. I'm exaggerating as I'm in two years. Yeah, but... Do like By the six, time, six and six or three and three, you know, I don't know, something. Drop, know. yeah, three or four at three, a time. Three, 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 yeah, whatever. And finish yeah. it within a couple of months. Yeah. It's crazy that they're now, Amazon's looking at it as a, you know, we have too much of this old inventory, but the set's not even completed yet. Yeah. Anyway, that's just one thing. All right, keep it going. Next keep it going. thing we saw on one of the Funko Pop news things was that the Pop posters, which we mm-hmm. talked about in our What They Should Get Rid Of, uh, show even though they're cool even though they're cool yeah uh, and they, they actually the cardboard comes off you can hang them on your wall yeah. to save shelf space they are huge yeah. and expensive to ship etc yeah we talked about all that but they showed tj max stores which i thought you just bought spandex and <laughs> and old sweaters at. old flowered shirts <laughs> tj max stores yeah. in the states for 14 dollars and 99 cents which now, compared to what we have to retail these at, because they were so expensive wholesale. Our wholesale price. Like, this is the, way below wholesale We're going to give you a roundabout number, and it's over $30 US. So Let's just how, to, for us to pre-order it and wholesale it. Yeah, yeah. and that's in USD. And then we got to ship it. Yeah. Yeah. So how on God's green earth does mm-hmm. TJ Maxx get them at a price where they could retail them for 19 something dollars and then blow them out at fourteen ninety nine. Well, yeah, they still got to make some money because they, they got to make money. They're a massive, uh, a massive conglomerate, so they probably have you know planograms, and every shelf space has to make an X amount of money. Yeah. So they got to make. They're not just going to put them on there and say, okay, we paid thirteen, we'll put them on here for fourteen. Now there were some you know? comments on that post that maybe people at TJ Maxx because they don't know what Funko is, yeah, misappropriated the price, stickering them as yeah, they maybe. Might have. Uh, a comic cover price or something like that. Like the Lotso's at Toys R Us? Yeah. <laughs> Those were $16.99 Canadian. Yeah. Which makes no sense because yeah. they were retailing for what? 30 USD on the Funko site. Whatever. So that yeah. doesn't add up that you could retail them for $16.99 Canadian. In Canada. But whatever. So yeah. Price it as a regular pop is yeah. what we think. Exactly. Anyway, 
But you would think that the people at TJ Maxx know what their costs are. Uh, so I don't think that they would sticker it wrong. All right. It could have been a, been a mistake. But that's not the first time we've seen this, like, lounge fly going to dollar stores. Yeah. And, and just regular Funko I've Pops, seen 10-inch yeah. Grogu's at uh, Winners yeah. for, like, $20. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, you see it out there. Like, it's not... Uh, we don't have these stores in Canada, but five below. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of places posting about having exclusives, chases. Yeah. Uh, lots of pops at five below. Yeah. And, and I don't know if you can tell from the title of their store, yeah. everything is $5 or below. Oh, really? <laughs> that's, that's, I looked it up. It's not just a fancy, uh, fancy name. <laughs> so that's another yeah. bit of shenanigans that's going on that we just, the, the math just doesn't add up. Like, how much are you getting these TJ Maxx that you can retail them for 14, blowing them out for $14.99? You're just devaluing your own brand. Exactly. Which goes to the other thing that got re released that you were pissed off about. I can't believe that they re released the 2016 General Grievous Walgreens exclusive. Yeah. On the Funko shop. So you had these sitting around for seven years mm -hmm. and you, you, Put them out, or did you do a reprint? No, no, no. Because you're going to, now that you drop these and they sold out right away. Right. You know why? Because the value is $60 Canadian. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a grail. It's mm -hmm. a Star Wars. Not for long. Not for long. Exactly. So mm -hmm. the people that got the OG Walgreens sticker, mm -hmm. General Grievous, and now don't get me wrong, I ordered some because yeah. I don't have that pop. I don't have it either. So I'm I wanted it. I'm happy with that. So we got them. <laughs> yeah. They're coming. Yeah. Yeah. But for the people that, actually own that pop yeah that is just hurtful yeah they're just like they're going like oh man this is gonna totally devalue i don't understand the re-releasing of the of the vaulted grail yeah. pop if it's I vaulted I it's it. gone i don't get it so yeah. is it a reprint like it'd be really interesting to study that box yeah. up close and compare it to an og yeah whence when when we get ours you just I, find I really a like skid of them in the warehouse oh yeah hey do you remember those hey what's that back there <laughs> Yeah. Frank, oh. are those General Grievous from seven years ago? Yeah. yeah, we missed a skid. Yeah, we thought they were Windex. Ah, yeah, that'll sorry. happen. Where's the Windex? We're out. We're out. We thought I... that was Windex. <laughs> we thought we had lots. Uh, anyway, so that was a bit disheartening. Yeah. Uh, for people who own the original. Yeah. Now, all that being said. Funko did say that they are going to, recently, we did a show on it, right. going back to basics and right. making things more, you know, rare and, yeah. and cutting back on skews. We hope that's true. Yeah. And, like, recently it just made the news again. Like, last year, a guy got that very limited golden ticket Willy Wonka two-pack, mm -hmm. and he bought it for $100,000. Right. It's super limited. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the exact piece count. I don't think it's a one of one. I think it's a one of three. Gotcha. But anyway, mm -hmm. no matter what that is, I'm probably wrong. Mm -hmm. He turned around and sold it a year later, just a few days ago, mm -hmm. for $210,000. That's a little too much. So that's the world's record. It was 100000 was the record for that purchase and yeah. it made the news. Yeah. Uh him selling it a year later for 210,000 is crazy for a Funko for any Funko Pop. And we love Funko. Yeah. That's crazy amounts of money, but yeah. is is this going to be a point where at some, you know, the general grievous thing mm. where they do a a, a 10 year 15 year anniversary of Willy that? Wonka 2 pack yeah. that's available for everyone? And watching that limited grail go down like the guy from The Price is Right when yeah. he goes over do, the do, hill. Do, yeah. do, 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 do. I feel like like we're, we're getting to the – we're going back to basics, but I don't understand because I think you're going back to basics is just pissing off your fans. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Like – some of these recent things, uh, even even one just very quickly because mm -hmm. it's not really part of this topic, but yeah. they were re they mentioned in that rebranding and mm -hmm. were reshaping the company that they're really going uh, heavy on the pop yourself. Yeah, and the first people received they did the launch. Everyone yeah. was happy about it because you could have a basically it was so hard to get a custom done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now you can get a pop of yourself or a friend to give as a gift. Right. And the first people that received their pop yourself, did you see what they got? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damaged. Oh, that's bad. Those things got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were damaged. So yeah. I'm sure that Funko refunded them or sent a new one. But this mm -hmm. is a one of one of yourself. Yeah. 
So it's not like there's stock of it. So yeah. you really aren't helping your brand or your value by having to ship those really poorly, having mm. them all trashed, and then having to refund those people or make new ones. That mm. is not helping your bottom line. Right. I'm just saying it. That's yeah. something that recently happened. We're going back to basics. Yeah. And also by going back to basics, which I just noticed a couple of days ago, which was great, okay. was our common price went up again. Yay! No one told us. They just kind of like slip it under, you Are know? Are you it's serious? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, common prices. So now all the new commons we got to pre-order and stuff went up. I'm not going to say how much, but they just, no no email. No, no warning. No, hey, you know, we're going to do a little price You got to make up for and, the hundreds of millions hey, of dollars. Hey, how was your weekend? Did you have a good time? And kids have a good time? You guys go to the zoo? Great. Commons are up. See ya. Bye. You know? <laughs> no like, warning. No warning. So now it's like, great, we're going to raise the prices. Awesome. Perfect. No problem. But you can give them at five bucks and below for, well, under five bucks. See, that's what bothers me a lot about mm. these clearance stores mm. that are getting these things and retailing them for $5 yeah. or below. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's insanely below wholesale costs. Yeah. So you're screwing over and pissing off other retailers yeah. by offering them at a price where they could price it retail for five dollars yeah you don't put it in dollar stores and stuff dollar stores were created for people like us on saint <laughs> patty's day and we go there and we get stupid hats Scream. and horns and greens and we go get hammed at the local pub that's what the dollar stores are there for yeah. right that's it or envelopes or cheap stuff like that. Staplers. Staplers. Yeah. Stuff like that. That's Potted what it is. stuff, plants. Rubber-made things that you could put blueberries sure. in. That's birthday what, cards. Birthday cards. That's what dollar stores are. <laughs> you don't need to put Funko in there. Yeah. Seriously. It's honestly. It's devaluing the Like, brand. it's just killing the brand. Yeah. So, anyways, whatever. Last point we want to make in this show is mm -hmm. that we noticed when we were uh, unboxing our Wicked Camp Fun Days boxes. Right. Exact same price as the Fun on the Run boxes, right. which are still available. Because they suck. So fun on the run, you could still get it. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, I don't think that would be the case, and I just think no. that they dropped the ball on that. There's tons of cons still available on. on yeah, for San Diego. For San Diego. Yeah. That's Freddy that Funkos. That stuff should be sold the f out. Yeah. And it's not. So there's an issue. Tony the Tiger on surfboard. You're producing. You're producing too much, or people don't get. That's one. Yeah. Which one? I don't know which one it is. We really did feel like this uh, San Diego Comic Con was a little lackluster. The mm. the Tony on surfboard was great. Yeah. A couple of the Freddies and mm -hmm. the short round. Yeah. There's definitely people are fans, right? If you're a fan of anime, you're gonna like those ones. Right. The one with the tall hair. Or yeah, whatever. that's yeah. But it just felt like it didn't wow us. Yeah. And I feel that's reflected in the fact that a lot of the San Diego exclusives are still available. Then why limit us to one on con day? Yeah, you might as well. Yeah. Right? What does it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're not selling out of them. Yeah. Anyway, that, that kind of cheesed us off. This whole conversation got started with some of these things that have happened recently. And we mm. want to discuss it with you guys. What do you think of these recent Funko shenanigans? Are they going to turn the ship around? Or are mm -hmm. we going to see more items at Five Below or TJ Maxx with giant pop posters for $14.99? Tell us what you think of everything we talked about in the comments below. And for this show, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fish. K-Dog. We'll see you again soon.